This tutorial will help you add photos to your timeline. So you'll be working again in the edit section and I'm going to open my project and I'll see my music, pictures and video files. So I'm going to open up my picture file. And here I'll be able to see all the pictures that I imported in my folder. So I can see all of my pictures for my adventure movie. So I'm going to select one that I want at the very beginning of my project. It's the one of the two palm trees. And using my select tool, I'm just going to click on that photograph and then drag it down onto the video one line on the timeline. I want to add more photos to my timeline, so I'm going to go through the same process by clicking on a photo to select it and then dragging it down onto the timeline. This is where I'm going to use a time stretch tool so that I'll be able to see a little bit more of my photographs on the timeline just so that I can work with them a little bit better. So I'm going to go up to the time stretch tool and go towards the positive sign and it will make every photograph in my timeline um, just a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to look at the length about how long each of my photographs is showing when I play my file. So the default setting for um, how long a picture is playing is five seconds. So I actually want to change that to a little bit shorter time for some of these photographs. So I'm going to right click on that photograph and it'll bring up a box and I'm going to select the time stretch item from the menu and a box is going to show up that's going to allow me to change the speed of uh, how long my photograph is going to be showing. So that's in the duration section. So I'm going to click on the duration um, box and in the duration box I'm going to select three seconds. I'm going to type in 300 for three seconds and then click OK. And now I'm going to change the duration of the rest of my photographs to three seconds by using the same method. Actually, I've decided I would like the first um, picture to be part of my title or integrated into my title. So I'd like it to be on the screen for a little bit longer. So I'm going to change that one back to five seconds. And then there's another way I can do that is just by selecting it and, and there'll be a little red bracket that shows up and I'll be able to drag that photograph all the way over to meet the other photograph that's on my timeline. And now I'm going to move the rest of my photographs back so that they touch each other because I'm going to add transitions in a little while. So I just want them to be flowing one into the other. So I'm just going to select them and then drag them back on the timeline so that they all touch. So now I'm just going to take my tool and scrub along my timeline and see how my photographs all show up in the monitor.
and I'm happy with the way that my photographs look, so I am going to go up and save my project again. Remember, it's really important that you save your project as you go along so that you don't lose the work that you've been doing for that uh, period of time.